there, Lai Macedo speaking to you from LaiMacedo.com and LaiMacedo TV. Today's book review is going to be The Compass of Pleasure by David Linden. Now, I've read a, a few books on the human mind and human behavior, notably from authors like uh, John O'Leary, Malcolm Gladwell, Dan Ariely, then you have Stephen Levitt, Stephen Dunbar, uh, and also Sam Harris. So ever since I began reading books from those authors, I began I, I became pretty curious about psychology, neuroscience, cognitive science, and um, I do my best to understand as much as I can. Now, what is this book about? This book is about addictions that we tend to have about fatty foods, orgasm, exercise, marijuana, generosity, vodka, gambling, you know, so on and so forth. So the, the style of writing in this book is more like Roy Boymeister's uh, you know, Vilpa, then you also have John Alera, How We Decide, and also David Kessler, The End of Overeating. So it's a combination of all the three, but the only difference being the jargon that is in this book. For example, let me let me give you, where is that, page 182. In page 182, you have, uh, you have this amazing paragraph that really makes you, you know, scratch your head, not once, but many, many times. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 182. Okay, let's see, let's see where... Okay, uh, I'll, I'll just read a random paragraph, okay, just read a random paragraph. Um, so, j j just see if it kind of makes sense to you. Okay, mm, let's see, I'll take this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, another strategy has been to design the drugs that promote abstinence by creating an aversive response. Disulfiram marketed as anti-abuse, which has been approved by as a treatment for alcoholism by the FB, FDA since 1954, works as an inhibiting key enzyme in the multi-step breakdown of ethanol, also called acetylhydrogenase. dehydrogenase. When this enzyme is blocked, consuming alcohol will produce an increased level of acetylhyde into the, I don't know, did I get the right? Acetaldehyde in the bloodstream, which makes the drinker feel pretty ill. Okay, now this is like just one example, okay, just one example um, of what is written in this book. Now, if you found this paragraph top, then let me tell you that a whole book, the whole book is, um, you know, filled with stuff. Now, let me take a random page. Let's say, for example, I'm, I'm taking page 69. He speaks of leptin protein, he speaks of secreted fat cells, he speaks of um, uh, hypothalamus, he speaks on uh, aggression due to the ventromedial area, so stuff like this. So if you if you are thinking that this book is going to be an easy breeze, well, you're mistaken. Now, what did I like about the book? The book is more like a technical manual. It's like a student who is going to a science class and wanting to learn even though he's an adult. So you must appreciate the amount of effort, the amount of time, the amount of research that has gone into this book, into teaching and sharing all this. Now, what I didn't like about this book, this book does not give you any firm conclusions. It does not say, if you do this, this is what is going to happen. If you do that, that is going to happen. Um, but it does give you the reactions of various uh, substances in your body or behavior patterns and uh, which parts of the brain actually light up or react. So it's, it's not like you're going to get um, a manual as to how you can use or manipulate certain rules and regulations. Obviously, he doesn't know, so how can we know? So, moment of truth, a highly technical, a highly sophisticated, a highly uh, educational book that teaches you a lot of things that can really open your mind and your horizon into studying and understanding what the human mind is all about. However, this is not a book for easy reading. It's not a book that is for the casual reader and it is not for someone who is just looking for a book to just entertain his senses. So, having said that, I would give this book a 7 out of 10 and um, I would only tell you, buy this book only and only if you want to um, you know, study and learn something more in the aspect of the human mind. So having said that, thank you very much for watching. This is Loy Macedo speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com and LoyMacedo TV. Goodbye for now.